If you are tracking sales, you must update your existing chart with the most recent data points. And the best part is that you don't even have to start from scratch. You can always use an existing chart to keep your charts up to date. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VBA tutorial helpline. This is Hadiul Basher and today I'll demonstrate 5 methods of how to add data to an existing chart in Excel. For this video, I'll use Microsoft Excel 365. Here is a sales dataset. This dataset includes a month and the sales information of three salespersons, Mike, Adam, and Stephen. You can see the information of Mike and Adam is presented in this chart. But this chart is incomplete to some extent as it doesn't contain the sales figures of Stephen. I will show you the steps to add the data points of Stephen to this chart. The most convenient method is using the sizing handle. To do so, click on the plot area. You can see that the sizing handle has appeared. Drag the sizing handle to cell E4 and the data points of Stephen is added to this chart. In some cases, you may have the data set and the chart in separate worksheets. For example, move to the worksheet named separate worksheet chart and you will find the chart here. To add the data points of Stephen to this chart, right click on this plot area. This will open options to customize this chart. Choose select data and the select data source window is open. From the legend entry series, you can see that Mike and Adam is already added to this series. To add Stephen to this series, click on add. This will open edit series window. To insert the series name, go back to the separate worksheet and click on cell E4. To add the series values, discard the previous value and select the data points of Stephen. Now click on OK. You can see that data points of Stephen is added to this chart. Finally, click on OK. Copy pasting also works to update the chart. Select the data points of Stephen. You can copy the data points in two ways. In the Home tab from the Clipboard section, click on Copy or you can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus C to copy your selection. Now go back to the chart area and right click on it. From the Paste options, click on Paste. In this way, the data points of Stephen is added to this chart. You can use the Paste Special feature to add data points to an existing chart. Select the data points of Stephen. Press Ctrl plus C to copy that selection. Click on the chart area in the Home tab from the clipboard section. Click on this arrow. Move to the Paste Special option. You can either click on this option or press Ctrl plus Alt plus V in the keyboard. In my case, I am clicking on this option. You can see the Paste Special window has appeared. Here you will find different options to paste your values. In my case, the current selection is perfect. So I am clicking on OK. And this adds the data points to this chart. You can use the pivot table feature to add data points to an existing chart. Click on the chart area. This will open pivot chart fields. You can see that month Mike and Adam is already checked. Check Stephen. And you will find Stephen in the values area. In this way, Stephen is added both to the pivot table and the pivot chart. Close the pivot chart fields to get the full view of the pivot chart. I have demonstrated 5 different methods of adding data to an existing chart in Excel. Hopefully, you can apply this knowledge to update your charts quickly. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions or feedback in the comment section below. To check out our Excel blogs, you can visit exceldemy.com. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.